of those situations where they're really trying to find their rhythm and they're going to be looking to kind of just build off of that tonight. Warner has a team best four goals for NC State. And now Peyton Costello with the opening touch. Let's get this party started. First matchup in nine years, NC State and William & Mary. The capital city in Raleigh and one of the most historic cities in Virginia, Williamsburg, with the university founded in the 1780s. Wolfpack with some weather delays. I've only played one match here in the month of September. And sometimes, Michaela, it's the getting your sea legs fresh after weeks of practice. You're not playing a ton. Right. I think, you know, coming off, they just played at Rutgers. The Wolfpack did, um, to clarify. Um, again, took a, took a loss there, but were able to refresh. Sometimes the travel kind of drains you a little bit. So with having a little bit of a light start to September, I think we're going to see a lot of intensity here tonight for them. A match on Sunday. This is the second outing of the month. William & Mary, a tough 2-0 loss to a nationally Princeton squad. Prohibitive league favorite in the Ivy. Tribe have won two of the last three CAA titles. Them and Hofstra have traded roles the last three years. Good ball ahead of Mia Sakura, the senior midfielder who loses it. Now Mana Nakata into space. Can Brooklyn Holt stay on this one? Just a bit out of her reach. It's a packed team against Rutgers. Had three good shots on target, but gave up a first-minute goal on the road Sunday. Could not overcome that. And an ACC now with eight top 25 programs. NC State was just in the rankings at the start of the month. Receiving votes the last two weeks as they commit the foul. Here's the junior, Nora Green Orsett, out of Arlington, Virginia. Over 20 players from the home state, including Julie Shackford, the Hall of Famer for William & Mary. 30 years on staff between head coach, assistant, came back eight years ago and has now run the program since. And even Coach Shackford, 30 years in, gets out of her chair to get that ball <laughs> that shuffles towards the sideline. 276 wins for Julie. Really a pillar at William & Mary. All-American as a player. Multiple NCAA tournament appearances. And an NC State team under Tim Santoro. Multiple Sweet 16 outings. They've been a strong pillar here in the triangle. Fernandez Soto in a tussle loses possession. Can the pack capitalize on numbers? Good ball ahead, Nakata. She's on side. But look how quickly William Mary collapses its back line. You know, we're approaching the first five minutes in, and you can see the Wolfpack trying to build, especially in the final third. And they've had some good connections, just haven't been able to make that final pass. Um, to really get something on the end of it. And then, to your point, <laughs> the Tribe very quick to defend and kind of get numbers behind the ball. The Tribe lead the CAA in goals against. Only four surrendered, two of them just on Sunday. And a pack team, like you mentioned, Michaela, five goals and then three in their two of their previous three matches. A lot of offense. And those two games were pivotal for them as, as their season, right? As you kind of described it as this drought to start off of just finding ways to put the ball in the back of the net. And then that VCU game uh, where the Wolfpack were able to win 5-0 really just, I think, was a confidence booster for them. They, you know, the team really needed that sense of confidence where, you know, we can, we can score. We can, and from multiple players on the field, 
Uh, so just carrying that. Well, here's Woner who kickstarted that scoring. A good looking shot on target just wide. And we highlighted her in the open, and I think you can see why. She does not need too much space, just a touch on top box and not enough bend on that, but it's a good opportunity. And Tim Santoro has mentioned giving her the green light more this year, especially yeah. from distance. He noted at times in 23, his team would be too precise in the box. He wanted to be more fluid offensively. And I think it just comes also with the roster um, this year of just you want your striker to, to be fluid, as you say, and be selfish and take chances. I think the biggest thing looking at this roster this year is they don't have a Jamise Joseph. Uh, they don't have a Ziara King, who they've had previously to really lean on. Um, and I know earlier this year, Tim Santoro was also saying that they're looking for goals in, by by roster, by multiple people. Um, Those were all-American so type speedsters, especially yeah. with Joseph. Right. That so. one's deflected on a corner here for, no, actually a goal kick for William & Mary. This year's team, seven players have scored. Wolner, of course, has exactly. the big four, yep. but a lot of balance. Right. Which is great to see, and I think now it's just going into more games of just building on that confidence and really finding the stride of mixing this group of players front to back line. Here's Woner, who's done so much of that scoring, plays it ahead to Soto. What a tussle there. Peyton Costello, the freshman of Stony Brook, wins it. With a headband that could be seen for miles. That neon green really stands out. The lone freshman to earn a start tonight for Coach Shackford. He has Sakura in his space. Not able to clear, at least for the moment. And here's the speed of Holt. Brooklyn in year four, able to sweep that one out. of a chance there for William and Mary who had been dominant at home a three game win streak VCU Temple and Richmond pitching shutouts in two of those matches as a player do you watch the tape of your opponent playing a team you've already played like if you're NC State and William and Mary watching VCU oh <laughs> that is very interesting you know I I would say that I wouldn't be surprised if the Tribe did watch the NC State and VCU game uh, leading up to this match. They both played each other within a three-day span. Right. And poor VCU allowed seven goals in that time frame. Lindsey Wilson dribbles into some trouble, and the All-CA member turns it over. Advantage will play here on the foul. Options now for Taylor Chisholm, the Wilmington native. See a lot of directing traffic. With Warner getting her Fitbit, very well tested, that catapult. Now she sprints into the box, nothing there. Antonella Macioto playing up top. Keeps this in play. Good centering ball. And deflected. A shot for Woner. No. This time cleared. A good test early as William Mary wants to counter with Iglesias. That one last touch by Holt. And quite the individual effort there from Macioto to keep that in and win an opportunity. And then the flip side tried to take that counter and bomb some numbers forward. So definitely saw some spurts of energy there from both sides. Oh, 
How much room to operate here for William & Mary at the midfield level. This chip ball searching for Wilson. She heads it through. Oh, still sitting in the box. And Costello nearly had a chance. Let's have about this look here for NC State. Pure physicality and just sheer s sense of just strength and will to kind of keep that in. And it's tremendous effort by the freshman to keep that. And that centering ball, Michaela, forces Lorenz to pick an option. Right. It does leave the, the net wide open. Now that's a really dangerous opportunity. Unfortunate, you know, they weren't able to capitalize on it. But that's really what you want to see, especially from freshmen coming in to make opportunities like that out of nothing. It's just a pure 100% effort there. It's the third official shot for NC State. And now a tussling match. Oh, and a foul here on the Tribe. That was Leah Iglesias committing the harm, the New York product. NC State, very comfortable possession tonight. It was on Aoki, the sophomore defender. He's played in almost every minute this year for Tim Santoro. He's been consistent with his back line. It's a turnover is forced. Oh, the footwork of Nakata. Now can Holt play it forward. Soto into space. Nine committed back defensively for the Tribe. This one flicked on right over the head of Aoki. And there are not many passing lanes here for NC State. And to highlight Nakata there, we saw some individual creativity there, and you just kind of see the technical player that she is. But so far, first 15, 10, 15 minutes or so, she's really been a pivotal part for the Wolfpack. A lot has been channeling through her from front to back as that connecting point in the midfield. Uh, she's been getting on the ball quite a lot in spaces and finding the ball. So definitely someone that I think the Tribe need to look out for as she's finding some confidence in there and making things happen for the Wolfpack. Not a great clearance from Lorenz, but William & Mary gets out of trouble. And this is Witterick shooting it forward. Wants Ivy Crane. Crane 1v2. Good deflection. And the pack get out of trouble. We know to Brianna Weber's experience over 60 career starts here for NC State. And I do want to highlight that Brianna Weber made that look easy almost. And that is a hard situation to be in one on one. Um, Ivy Crane, we highlighted her in the open. Very dangerous forward. Um, and that's just great defending. You're one bad foot away from a penalty. Yeah. Or a, it was, a yellow card for sure. All ball, just kind of toe poked it. Really, what sh the, that's what you ask for a center back, just in those positions, stay calm and just defend well. And she did that flawlessly. She partners with Taylor Chisholm here on this back line. Multiple three year starters. And now an awkward bound sets up Wilson. Crane is on side from distance. And there's Pertapas with her first save. Olivia Pertapas, who's second in the ACC in total saves. That's a stat that's both good and bad, but she stepped up in <laughs> moments. No team wants to have a keeper have too many chances. And now a foul here on the Tribe. How much of a factor will these long-distance looks be for William & Mary tonight? I mean, already in the first few minutes, Ivy Crane here with the long distance shot, again, kind of from a counter. I think that's one thing that NC State needs to watch out for is just leaving these gaps um, from the from the defense, from the defensive third to the midfield third. 
um, where Tribe are just kind of looking to counter. They get numbers behind the ball, and then all it takes is one ball in behind Ivy Crane, and she's clearly shown that she's willing to shoot from distance. Um, and I sure w would hope that she can put the ball behind the net um, from close as well based on her stats. So, 18 career goals for Ivy. Now in her third year. Let's see how Jazzy handles this one. Had trouble on the last boot. Michaela Sweeney fans in the house tonight. <laughs> Didn't have that on my bingo card. And Soto <laughs> centers it in. Woner. Macioto back to her. Oh, great ball into space. And a throw here. Seating the corner. And the Red Terror is awake for the first time tonight. And the Pack's last home matchup. Three goals and a win over Charlotte at the end of August. This is Mana Nakata on the corner. Plays it short. Warner chips on off the leg of Weber. Back to Costello, who anchors so much of this midfield. Here's a run from Iglesias, and that'll test NC State. We've seen some great counterattacking principles from the tribe tonight. As Costello takes every inch that John Rush will allow, our lead referee. Players never throw the ball where it actually goes out. <laughs> and I say that as a former goalkeeper myself at the youth level. Mm. You guys would always cheat forward <laughs> an extra five or ten yards. Listen, we don't have the strongest of arms, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Anything helps. And William & Mary earns the throw on a good effort by Wilson. That's actually a foul right there, so a free kick, not a throw in. Foul on Soto. Tribe team, it's had six different scores this year. Good chip, Wilson, dangerous, but a foul. That was a really good ball in the box. Unfortunately, you know, took the foul there, but it's a dangerous opportunity here for the Tribe. And I think that contact there with Pertapas. That's, yeah. I think that's what the ref saw as well. A lot of times in verticality they'll let that play, but I think there was a little bit of leaning. Right. A tough pass sets up Iglesias. Oh, Iglesias off the leg. Julie Shackford's club. There is no shot out of distance. And now we have a quick timeout and a card coming. As Soto remains down. The senior defender, Fernando Soto. Yeah, it just looks like she kind of got clipped there at the end. Yeah, Mia Sakura there with the yellow. The senior defender, two-time All-CAA. Warner is attracting double and triple teams all night. 
She did well there, holding up the ball and able to find a connection. As the Tribe give it right back. You have to like possession now if you're Tim Santoro in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, definitely two different playing styles here tonight. I think the Tribe, you know, more direct, whereas the Wolfpacker, more that possession, um, like to connect a few passes and build um, versus kind of more that direct style. Here are the Tribe in transition. This is Widrick. How much on that chance? Crane shot deflected. And here's the speed of Masioto. And a Jabril warming for the pack. We'll see if she becomes a factor. Oh, individual play there. Asioto trying to sneak through two, and that's a tough task. And there's the late foot, dangerous, a whistle. And Jade Bordalo will check in for NC State. And a sophomore forward out of Quebec. Pardon me on the next dead ball. <laughs> Got ahead of myself there. Peyton Costello and Fernando Soto, who are very similar in styles of play. That's a good matchup at the midfield position. Now Crane steps in front. Iglesias wants a foul. Wish granted. Dangerous free kick coming. Yeah, and I think Jaden Thomas just unfortunately found herself on the the wrong side of the ball there and just had to commit the foul. This is a very good opportunity for the Tribe here, just from a distance standpoint to goal. In the words of Tom Hanks, Wilson! Pending shot to Pratapas. Had the right idea on it. Um, got it on target, on frame, just didn't had the bend or the speed or the power really behind it to kind of make that a dangerous opportunity. Patapas collected that pretty nicely. Patapas, who rose into the rankings last year with Echezaretta's injury, has been really good here in 24. There's a long ball for Crane. Blame and Mary starting to gather a couple of possessions. This is Witterick chasing and a good clearance from Tolentino, the Carolina transfer. And now Jay Bordalo enters the match for Masioto. And that's Ava Schultz in to throw, the sophomore out of Annandale, Virginia. Centered on. Holt with a flick. Oh, dangerous header. State concedes the corner. And again, you see the trend here with the Tribe. All of their chances really have come from long distance, either a, a ball in the box from a wide area or a shot from outside the box. And this is where NC State probably need to be a little bit more organized, um, which is kind of denying these chances. 
second corner. Lindsey Wilson this time. Corner on the way. Flicked free. Loner got a defensive touch on that. Tried though onside. And both teams struggling there to keep possession, but State wins the throw. And that's something that NC State has done really well at, as you know, as I said, to be organized to deny some of the chances. None of the chances really have posed too much of a threat. So, you know, they're kind of staying together and saying, like, you know, it's okay if you have the ball out there. That's fine. It's just the the quantity of the chances sometimes you start to to look at to see, are we giving them too much? But so far, really not posing too big of threat. Um, if anything, just those kind of turnovers is what you've got to be careful of. The Glacius centers. Crane. Drawing a tag team, chip from Wilson. And there's Pratapas out of her eight. Those are the kind of balls that keep a goalkeeper busy. NC State came in surrendering one goal per match. And somehow there are teams in the country like Auburn and Oklahoma State who have still yet to surrender a goal this year. Unbeaten and clean sheeted through the first eight. That is very impressive. Virginia surrendered just one. They lead the ACC so far. Now our lead ref, John Rush, keeping things in order. Brooklyn's throwing is knocked out of play. <laughs> NC State forcing one save of Jazzy Lorenz. And she filled in for an all-conference keeper who's graduated, Zo Zoe Doughty, who was now on the coaching staff as an assistant after a four-year All-CAA career. Good defensive touch and a goal kick. Molly Witterick's been in the right spots in a lot of moments tonight. I think it's really just going to come down to who has that final touch, you know, who has that final piece. And CC have really shown good signs of life when they've been connecting it, moving it. Uh, just need to see more of that. And then on the flip side, the Tribe have had some really good uh, counterattacks and been able to exploit some of those wide areas, some shots from outside. Risky ball from Lorenz. She's left a couple to be desired. Busy night here in the ACC. Missouri and Duke just getting started across the road in Durham. And then conference play all begins next Thursday. as the All Coast Conference welcomes the Cal Golden Bears to town here in Raleigh. Aoki could not hold on to the ball, so it's Wilson. Here's Crane. Crane with all the space. Crane cuts back, weaves. And that's really, again, another sign of really good defending there from the Wolfpack center backs, that time by Taylor Chisholm, who locked that down very nicely. And have kept William & Mary out of the box for too many chances. And that was a really good opportunity again for the Tribe off a counterattack from a Wolfpack turnover. So they're really just exploiting those, those turnovers and going at the back line with speed. Soto able to save that with a little bit of contact. 
A little more contact here. And John Rush letting the play. That Costello Soto matchup. That is old <laughs> school soccer right there. Both physical players for sure. Scrappy. <laughs> Every ball near the touchline is dangerous. Let's see if Witter can catch up to this one. Oh, that did not touch the foot of Tolentino, so a goal kick. And now the pack will bring on three new bodies. Hannah Jabril will go up top. Olivia Kelly, the grad transfer from New Hampshire, comes down. And Abby Hugh will check in, another grad transfer at the midfield position. There's new legs of Elena Long John testing Holt. Long John at 5'10. She's been great on the headers tonight. More contact. Let's see how this unfolds. We have our second yellow of the night. That's Costello. So Sakura and Costello both with yellows. And again, you highlighted these two of kind of, this is not the first time we've seen them go at it. I can't wait for the second half between those two. <laughs> it's been both ways as well, not just one side. Right, right. I think there you saw frustrations building a little bit for Costello to make the foul. Kelly's free kick is knocked down. And now Costello. Ooh, good effort there from Iglesias to force the contact from Kelly. So we now move under 14 minutes left in the first half. Here's some movement for State. 2v1. Oh, nice touch from Campbell to prevent the goal. And now State loads eight in the box here on this corner. And NC State have some very strong targets in the box here between Weber, Chisholm, and Kelly. If Nakata can find one of them. Nakata chips on. Oh, that's a loose ball just off the post. I think you're right. Kelly may that's have had a dangerous some danger trio. There. I yes, that is a dangerous trio right there. This is a really good opportunity. Again, Nakata puts in a really dangerous spot. Difficult for the keeper. Yeah, it was. Chisholm right behind Kelly. That put Lorenz in an awkward spot. Yeah, and, and that's what makes that those kind of balls dangerous is when you're able to bring the keeper out like that, but then just miss it, and it very dangerous and hard to defend. Soto intercepted. A nice defensive run from Costello. Ivy Crane with a moment. Hold, plays it middle. And Weber wisely lays it off for Pertapas. Lima Mary earns the foul. And Jabril with some late contact. That's a savvy play. Yeah. You're on the ball. You know a defender's behind you. You're about to lose numbers. Slow it down. So, sometimes it's the smart play. Free kick for William & Mary. Daisy West sent it in. Yeah. 
Long John searching for options. This is Wilson. With Olivia Kelly in that central defensive midfield role, it's so hard to get passes through. State takes possession. Jabril has it knocked loose, but a foul. That's really good defending from the Wolfpack there, and I think that highlights why it's really beneficial to have two forwards. Um, between Jabril and Bordalo, they were really able just to stay lockstep, and then you... You know, you close down the wide area. They just did a really nice job of just locking down where the Tribe weren't able to get out and ended up winning it and got a foul out of it. Kelly on the free kick. Back post. Header from the Tribe, but a foul against State with the contact. Referees will always catch you extending your arms, and Chisholm got her hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> Although now on Sesame Street, the Cookie Monster only eats one cookie a day. More nutritious. Boo. <laughs> Our childhood shows of the 90s certainly change over time. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of contact in the middle of the pitch. Incidental. Here's a run for Bordalo. Bordalo. Surveys. Centers. Good clearance. Aoki. Now under nine minutes in the half. Jabril testing Schultz. Four shots for NC State, forcing two saves of Lorenz tonight. Soto's ball. Oh, this matchup, just wait. Soto versus Costello has been fun. Abby Hugh looking to apply pressure. And Campbell lets that one roll out. And now the Tribe with two substitutes. including experienced midfielder Gabriela Curtis. 61 career outings for Gabriela. It's been a rough day for the goalkeeper clearing. Jabril onside. Kenley Campbell has been everywhere on that back line, and she prevents a corner. She's definitely been able, honestly, like clean up crew and just sweep in anything that comes back there. A true sweeper position. Now can the pack manufacture in the final seven? Soto chips on. Aoki, a bender high. Sorry, Nakata there. Little touch. Figures have a go with the left. Has a nice little bend on it, just didn't dip enough to kind of make it on target. And she state wins possession. Jabril tangled. Ava Martin able to clear out of trouble and earn the throw.
Every time you think State's mounting possession, William Mary has been able to shuffle out of traffic. An organized club that led the CAA in goals against last year, but fell short in the semifinals to the eventual champs, Towson. Here's Daisy West with a chip, but no one there. I wonder what's the longest time ever been that a goalie has waited on the ball, right? Not in her mitts, but just waiting for a defender to challenge her. You see sometimes in high school sports, they'll drain every second without yeah. shot clocks on the basketball side. And now the Tribe get one more throw. <laughs> ACC play underway tonight, including Carolina and Wake Forest coming up in about 30 minutes. And Mary Frances Sims will come in for NC State. There's Jabril. Just bent wide. Good look from Bordelow. I think that's where you can see the Wolfpack so dangerous is when they're able to combine on top of the box like that. See Sims coming in, immediately having a run in behind, just movement up there. It's creating opportunities and pockets of space for target forwards like Bordelow to have a half second of a chance. Fires one on goal. I was hoping you'd say Natasha Bedingfield's pocket full of sunshine, <laughs> but I like pocket full of space too. <laughs> so we tick under four minutes to go in the half. With Michaela Sweeney, I'm Evan Budrovich. Jabril plays it ahead. Clearly offside. Tight angle there for Portolo, who just committed the offside. That was her most recent chance. Six shots now for the pack. Long John. William Mary has a streaking player up the far side. Now playing into space. Good centering ball. Costello, no. Contact. Nothing called. Dangerous chance for William & Mary before the half. The speed of Bordalo. She has Jabril. Bordalo centers. Nice run from the keeper. And I think we've seen the best chances of the game here in the last five minutes. And both have centered around Bordalo. <laughs> Her insertion off the bench. It's been big minutes. And here's a look. You can see her speed there, and she has a great idea here. Puts it in a really dangerous area. It just unfortunately didn't have enough of that width or that bend on it for Jabril to kind of meet that contact there. It forced Jazzy Lorenz out from her position. And now under two minutes left in the half. Long ball, wanting Crane. Holt in her final year, so comfortable on the ball. Both Brooklyn and Brianna have been huge parts of this program. Now just Brooklyn finishing out her tenure.
Kenley Campbell's boot has been everywhere and at the right time. <laughs> Only five starts for the true freshman, but making a huge impact. Chisholm's long ball. This is dangerous. Jabril. Deeks. Oh, wants contact. Final 20 seconds. Kelly. More contact. William and Mary exhales. Final seconds. Both teams held to a scoreless draw in the opening 45 minutes. Chances late, though, for NC State. The top is one save for Lorenz in the first half. The pack have not beaten one Mary since 96. Now, they don't play a ton. And this rivalry gets all renewed tonight. And now the second half underway. NC State, some great possession in the final 10 minutes of the first half. And Fernando Soto immediately goes down right after one of the opening touches. We'll keep tabs on her. Ivy Crane wins possession. Soto slowly gets up. There's Wilson. That one deflected free. And Soto's starting to run a little bit for stage. He'll try to catch up to the play. Witterick. And Witterick turns the throw. There's Soto right near the referee back into play. Yeah, I'm not sure if there was even contact with that one. It seems like she kind of rolled her ankle a little bit and just kind of had a tweak. Kelly shoots that one wide. Chances for Costello. Wilson centers, third touch on target, and just wide. And that location of the spare soccer ball gave us all a heart attack. I think some folks definitely thought this one was back of the net. And this is a really good opportunity from the Tribe. Finds a little space on top of the box, a half turn, plays an excellent slip ball, and just wasn't able to finish it. First good look at the half. Crane centers it in. Oh, Bertapas bobbles, and the save. Oh, slippery fingers inside the eight. And you are definitely seeing the energy based on these few chances here coming from the tribe bench. And I think this confidence is really instilling here. A little uncertain of how to catch that. Thankfully for Olivia, it didn't cost her. And it was a whipped ball in the box. And that's what you see of just sometimes just taking the opportunities creates another opportunity. Great slide tackle by Layla Green and Abby Hughes effort on that one. Here's Nakata. NC State had their shared chances, but mostly in the final minutes of the half. Coming off the 2-0 loss over Rutgers, but a great home performance with a three-goal effort. Now Wilson with numbers.
Warner shoots it wide. Holt comes forward from that defensive position. Here's Chisholm. Not much danger there. Boner's pass deflected. And Costello was unable to save that, so throw in for NC State. And already, first five minutes, I think we've definitely seen a bit of energy from both sides that we haven't necessarily seen in the first 45. You can feel the energy, the liveliness a little bit more, and I think that kind of goes to show what this second 45 means to both teams, that a win is critical here. A week before conference play for both CAA, ACC. Tolentino the bender, and Lorenz is over it. In fact, half the ACC starts tonight. The other half starts next Thursday. Stanford and Florida State, the two favorites coming in. We saw a non-conference, a Cat Raiderless Duke beat Carolina in a non-conference game last week. Blue Devils have Missouri tonight. Here's some movement for Green. Can't connect though. Though, Michaela, five, six minutes in, both teams have upped their energy in the second half. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of that is coach infused, player motivated. And there's now Masioto into space. Here's who, and Abby was offside. The lights are coming on, the weather is amazing. Seventy five degrees, just perfect. <laughs> because of the canceled game with Colorado, the women will be back in action on Sunday against George Washington. A quick turnaround. Here's Holt coming forward. Soto chips on. Here's our favorite matchup, Costello v. Soto. Uh, winning the ball. Crane offside. Defended well, well by the Wolfpack there. Communication between Chisholm and Weber has been stellar tonight. And you can see it there just holding their line. Nakata in this pack midfield trying to find any passing lanes to break down this William Mary defense. The long ball tries it. Here's Soto. Hard connection in a corner. And you are right. That matchup on that far side now is definitely the one to watch tonight. It's a great tackle. All ball. Costello concedes the corner. And now Mana Nakata on the fourth corner of the night. Nakata. Chipped free. Hugh. Roller wide.
This might be the record amount of time I've seen from Jazzy Lorenz. Had trouble on some of those boots earlier tonight. A young goalkeeper, first year starter, did not play a single match a year ago. And a foul on the previous tackle. Played down by Witterich. Wilson turns. Wilson centers. Chisholm's header. Now traffic. And just a foul that time. Four of the tribe have been really connected, limiting NC State chances. Here's Ivy Crane up top, three time all CAA. Weber wins the header. Oh, great through ball. Witterich. Witterich numbers. Knocked down, shot through. Tribe strike first. Incredible finish from Leah Iglesias. And what a goal here to take it half off balance, able to get a touch, put it in the back of the net, and that is the one that the tribe were looking for all night. And I think you can see the energy from the bench that just erupted. That counter-attacking play has been so big for the Tribe. And I think you can feel the energy that is now changed in the stadium. Third goal of the year for Iglesias. Here come the Tribe with momentum. Iglesias has it. Not the prettiest touch in the box, but it forced Pertapas to make a really difficult save. Couldn't keep it out. Witteridge chips on. Her effort helped fuel the goal. Best case scenario, first 15 minutes in the second half for the Tribe. Worst case scenario for the Wolfpack right now. And the momentum part to me is the most noticeable here. Oh, definitely. Winning the 50-50 balls, at least in this early spurt. And now a free kick coming up. And you saw really good energy from both sides. And not to say that the Wolfpack energy has dwindled by any means, but... I think the Tribe, to your point, has just been winning the first balls. It's just kind of just going that extra mile, per se. Wilson plays it short to Costello. Perry's chip, headed free. And Woner with a tight collision. Gets it out in front to Masioto with subs ready to check in. Ivy Crane tried to keep that on her front foot. The tribe have been ready for these long balls and win the throw that time.
This is Layla Green, who's bilingual, including Spanish. See the pack with a five pack of subs coming up. One less than the new Pac Six Conference. A lot of heavy collisions. And the line judge referring, he does make the call. It's tipped, so it's NC State. Yep, a lot of subs coming in. Aoki, Jabril, Thomas. Bordelo and Savannah Hutchins will anchor the offense up top. The freshman forward at Amore Park, California. You know, on one side, the Wolfpack have put themselves in a dangerous position being in the situation. But on the flip side, there's still a lot of time left. There's 30 minutes. They've had chances. And it's, it's really if they can continue to build on what they've shown that they can do, which is connect, build, you know, play their possession style that they like to play. But in the final third, I think it's moving that right from the middle of the field to the tribe's final third. And then limiting some of these counterattacks, closing that space. It's going to be critical the next 30 to see if they can get this game back a little bit in their favor. Crane has a dispossessed. Now the pack with a ton of numbers. Board to low, lost it. There's Campbell chipped on. Oh, the frisky crane ready for it. And Weber's got it clear. Tribe pressing numbers forward. Oh, bad pass. Iglesias the steal. Wilson. A great shooting angle. Witterich. That one kept in. And a corner. Here's Lindsey Wilson, the sophomore to Massachusetts, to deliver the corner. Players sprinting in. Wilson finds a Wolfpack head. Pratapa is forced to play that. We see a lot of those side bicycle shots on the men's side, a little more difficult here on this side. So Pratapas easily cleans that out. Bordalo with the push. Yeah, you could see the elbow extended there right in the back. Not sure if that was needed. Almost double, double digits in fouls tonight. You can, aids to kind of the scrappiness of what this game has been. Two programs that have met four times in the NCAA tournament. A ton of history. Their first meeting in nine years. Right now it's the Tribe scoring first on the Iglesias goal. Here's Ivy Crane. Costello. And Jabril knocks it off her. Mary will bring in Sheridan Brummett, whose brother plays at San Diego State on the men's soccer team right now. 
And Elena Longjohn, who's played a ton of minutes, the grad senior, comes back in. Good nutmeg by the lead ref. <laughs> Green, nice chip, green. And a goal kick. It does put Pratapas in a precarious spot. Playing comfortable with possession right now. Just one shot in the second half. And the Tribe really are just every time being able to collect the turnovers and swing it in their favor. And their first thought is forward. Another ball through. Good deflection. Board low. Oh, off her head. And he'll play it all the way back to Lorenz. The Tribe have had a lot of answers to the questions presented from NC State. Including the speed here of Savannah Hutchins. To come on the road against an ACC team and perform as they have, you know, give credit where credit is due. They've definitely shown up to play tonight, and I think you can see that both on the field and on the scoreboard. Now under 25 minutes left. There's Holt to throw. And now some pressure on Weber who dribbles through two. Including Sheridan Brummett who's coming up top. Bortolo wins it. Here's the top goal scorer, Peyton Costello. Oh, an important touch in the midfield. Wilson. A turning, Iglesias has it knocked loose. Foul there on Bordalo. For the most part, John Rush has allowed a bit of physicality. Both these teams are grinding it out tonight. Here's Layla Green coming forward. And Iglesias earns the throw. Green centers. One by Holt. Hutchins trying to hold play. And a foul on William & Mary.
now William & Mary has handled the added pressure from NC State. It wraps up non-conference play Sunday against George Washington. Out of the Patriot. Here's Bordalo. Bordalo centers. No one there. Nakata. That's cleared. Good ball from Thomas. Jabril. And then Costello forced to punch it out. I think you can feel the energy of the Wolf Pack a little bit there. Being more direct, going to goal. I think with speed, I think that's the biggest difference of where the Tribe have excelled at tonight, too, is they're going forward with speed, and clearly when the Wolf Pack do that as well, it works in their favor as well. Nakata's corner headed out. The Tribe lines push forward as Pratapas plays it. Two very organized clubs, and the one goal was a great finish inside the box for Iglesias. Green spins out of trouble. And now two more subs for the Tribe. Gabriella Curtis comes in, the Pennsylvania product. And Daisy West out of West Point. At what point as a player, Mikhail, does that sense of urgency kick in? How many minutes left? I'm just thinking that as well. We're approaching the under 20 minute mark. Again, it's not that position where I would say you're hitting the panic button, right, for State. They need to stay collected, continue to do the things that they do well. Possess, go forward. But to your point, act with a sense of urgency. And I think you're seeing signs of that. As Hugh fires a shot. It's that balance of individual it's, brilliance and then collective passing. Right. But I think this is a critical time of also like showing signs of character right now is digging in deep. They've been in this position before um, in earlier games this season of you're down a goal. Can we get it back? And it's not in the sense of playing manic or rushed or in a frenzy. You know, you still need to be collected. And I think that's also what separates the ACC from other conferences of can teams under pressure like this perform? Because they will be faced with these challenges also in conference play. So this is a great test for them. Eight nationally ranked teams in the ACC at the moment, including Florida State and Stanford, right at the top. 18 gets whittled, whittled down to six real quick. Conference tournament at the start of November. It is crazy to think our national finalists, Stanford, Florida State, will now meet in conference play here in two weeks. It is very strange. <laughs> William & Mary maintaining possession, searching for a fifth win for Coach Shackford. Iglesias, the goal scorer, nearing the box. Poked into a little bit of danger. Conceding the throw.
Good effort from Nakata to win that ball back. State wants to counter with Hutchins. Good defensive play from Curtis. Floats into Brummett, in through four. That ball did go out of bounds, so we William and Mary throw. And in terms of lifelines tonight, I think, you know, the standouts for me have been Nakata for the Wolfpack and Iglesias for the Tribe, just all over the pitch, finding pockets of space and just causing trouble, <laughs> uh, which is a good word in this context. They've also both held possession so well. They don't give the ball away very no, often. Oh, they just... Both have had really strong performances tonight. There's Taylor Chisholm. Now under 15 minutes to play. Nicole Sellers, the senior defender, will knock that loose. First team all CAA a year ago, anchoring this back line. There's a Glaces fuel in the break. And even Sakura in that defensive midfield position, she's been smart hanging on to the ball, passing in the right windows. And State wins it back. Yeah, I think if we would interview Shackford, the William Mary head coach, after the game, I think she'd be very pleased with what she's seen tonight from her team. Especially after surrendering a team best two goals a match ago, and here's a handball for Costello. Yeah, the response to go down 2-0 and then come on the road against an ACC opponent tonight and just show up as you have from a physicality and effort level. I mean... Getting a goal in the back of the net is just icing on the cake at this point. I think she would be very, very pleased with this result if it continues to stand. The tribe searching for a signature win before a matchup at Hampton next week. Nakata, blistering ball. Good save. Tenth shot for the pack. That one testing Lorenz. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. The eight second rule. <laughs> so now both teams will go to its benches. Back up top. Witterich, who had part of the assist for William and Mary. And NC State will sub out Bordalo, who was really good tonight. And in comes Annika Woner, the top goal scorer. And Fernando Soto will also return. And I think potentially you might see a little bit of formation change here for the Wolfpack. It looks like they're kind of going more to a three back and putting more numbers forward. Top three scorers now on the pitch for Tim Santoro. His club searches for a third win before ACC play comes knocking next week. Here's Soto on the throw. You know, we're approaching the 10 minute mark and I think as a coach, you kind of look at the score line and it doesn't really matter at this point if you lose one, two, three, zero. You're just trying to get, trying to equalize. So I think to put numbers forward, it makes complete sense in this context. Way well, Mary plays out of pressure.
Layla Green, part of a unit where six starters have played 40 or more career matches. A ton of experience for Coach Julie Shackford. That second ball won by Iglesias. And now 11 minutes to play for Pertapas and company. Not surprising. First goal of ACC conference play goes to North Carolina. They lead 1-0 over Wake Forest. In the post Anson Dorans era. Aoki could not settle it. And the Tribe win possession. Here's Jaden Thomas. Cole Sellers in this back line. They've won a ton of headers. They've played out of traffic. Now some danger. Soto. in the pack manufacture final 10 minutes only one real chance to speak of in the second half here's a moment Woner settles Woner not there Hugh is wide and what was a long string of possession but moving the ball very quickly Wolfpack were able you saw it there open him up Nakata plays a beautiful ball in behind finds Woner here this is a great ball. And Wohner just great individual effort to try to get something on it. Didn't find the shot and decides, let me lay it off. And Hugh there just didn't put it on frame. That's a really good chance for the Wolfpack. And those are the type of opportunities that now as we approach, we're under 10 minutes, got to capitalize. Now NC State back with it. There's Coach Shackford retrieving. The All-American during her playing days. Elected to the Hall of Fame 20 years ago at William & Mary. That goes right back to Lorenz. Ooh, a high boot. That has been the kryptonite for the Tribe tonight, but nothing to show for it. Good flick forward. Daisy West plays it ahead. And the Pack win it. Here's Kelly. Soto. Fernanda. Centers, Jabril, deflected shot. Right into Lorenz Mitz. Seven and a half minutes left for the pack. Both teams will sub. Paige Tolentino comes on for NC State. And Lindsey Wilson back in for William & Mary. 
to Lindsay Wilson. And Lindsay is taking number 23, Paige Tolentino. There's Tolentino. Aoki. That dipping ball. Creating traffic. Woner centers. Jabril turning. William and Mary stout defensively. Nakata off her left. Cleared. And you feel the energy that the Wolfpack are knocking at the door. And I think it was a very good decision to bomb more numbers forward because the Tribe are definitely defending in their final third right now. Brianna Weber to throw. That flick finds the box. Jabril Middles. Chisholm. Not much there. Now we hit the six-minute mark in this second half. And you can almost feel that you're counting the seconds at this point of can the Wolfpack get this, get one back to equalize. Here on the 40th anniversary of women's soccer being played here at NC State, September 12th, all the way back in 84. Alumni back in the building tonight, honored at halftime, and here are the Tribe looking to play spoiler. Now Pratapas out from her box. Oh yeah, yeah. Kelly forced to play this back to Pratapas. Witterich the pressure. And Iglesias earns the throw. And that's tremendous defending there for the Tribe, or just the pressure that she's brought tonight, you know, to force that turnover. And I know she's stepping off now, but commend her effort tonight. And to get the goal on the road, I think she's performed really big for her team. The go-ahead scorer sets way for Ivy Crane, the team captain. Now the clock begins to run. Chisholm shoots it out of a cannon. Hack have just struggled to get possession here in the last few minutes. William Mary's handled it well. Witterich lost that one. Tremendous toss from the ball kid. for individual brilliance, and that shot out of play. Boner, Middles, Nakata, Jabril. Soto deflected, Kelly chasing, Kelly, centers, header, middle, Nakata, not there. Has to clear. And now Ivy Crane, the countering specialist, heads to the corner. But that goes out. And you just feel the intensity that these last five minutes are bringing to the table right now. Absolutely both teams just giving tremendous efforts. What can NC State manufacture as they concede the throw? Now the clock stops for a sub. William Mary will re-enter Leah Iglesias. Not surprised we're seeing her return to the pitch tonight. Her goal 10 minutes into the second half. That's been the difference. Giving her a quick breather and right back to it. Some Pedialyte, rest, and back to recovery. <laughs> 
been a physical match as we kickstart conference play next week for both the CAA and the ACC. Now the clock game becomes a factor. Yeah, and, and this is where it's, you know, for the Wolfpack. I think they definitely put in the effort. You can see it, right, in some of the chances that they've had and just the physical runs. But sometimes it's the clock beats you to it and you're not able to. So I think we'll definitely continue to see more of that in the next two minutes. But you kind of sit here and wonder if you just ran out of time. Hannah Jabril at midfield looks to extend whatever time is left, two minutes. Lama Mary shoots it back towards the keeper. Weber with Crane tracking. For top of moon ball. Sakura wins it. Time eluding the Wolf Pack. And now a free ball. Iglesias wisely heads to the corner. Earns the throw. Thirteen shots tonight for NC State. But not a ton on target in the second half. Now the pack with a minute and a half to go. Warner needs reinforcements. This might help. Woner has Jabril. Great dispossession by Wilson. William and Mary throw. Final minute. First meeting in nine years, and it's been a great one tonight. It's our official stop stops time. And as we're approaching the final seconds, you can just feel the energy absolutely radiate from that tri bench over there. I think absolutely elated with the current position they put themselves in. And it's been a great match. And, you know, again, for them to show up as they have, give credit where all credit is due. Now the pack bring numbers forward, needing one last chance. Chisholm the deflection. Iglesias has been so important. Sends it middle. Final 30 seconds. Witterich. Such a smart play. And earns the foul. That might about do it here in Raleigh. A second half goal from Leah Iglesias fuels William and Mary to a signature road win tonight in Raleigh. Both teams.